let's say in, in now in, within our conversation, like do you do you have any uh, stance regarding? Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm pushing you. Take a stand. No, right, right. Of course not. Oh, it's 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 like, you know, I come here and I, you know, I come with like I put all of my cards on the table. But I say uh, this is my position. I'm against the occupation. I want the US to leave completely as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I want to understand where you are, you guys are coming from, so that we can I'll, maybe I'll, have a I'll, more productive I'll dialogue. I'll answer you with that. I do believe and understand that you, uh, from what you're saying, is the Iraqi war and the Iraqi invasion have the most urgency and the most important uh, for us all, right? But the thing is, is Iraq only about the war invasion? Is Iraq only has been hurt with, the, with this invasion? Or was it hurt by the Iraq-Iran war? Or was it hurt by the Mongols invasion? I believe is you can talk about Iraq in many different aspects and many different occasions more than the war. We can discuss the war. That's and a very I nice. You know, you know, and other events, I talked about the war. I understand. I like understand. That this is what you said in the beginning. But let me put things in context again. Let's say someone comes here from New Orleans while the city is flooded, right? Like people are dead in the streets, bodies are flooded, and they come here and they won't speak about Cajun food. When people criticize them, they'll be like, are you crazy? You're coming here to speak about New Orleans heritage while you have a flood there? Go and fix the flood first and then talk about the heritage. To control Iraq is to control the biggest uh, reserved oil in the world. To control Iraq is to control the most strategic place in the Middle East. That's true. To control Iraq is to control an example of uh, a population that made of uh, various shades of colors. One of them is the Kurdish issue, which Iran, Turkey, and Syria have a Kurdish issue, and Iraq is going to be the example because they're going to have to face this uh, issue, and it's going to be a model for the rest of the countries around it to deal with this.